Yeah, the Cricket West Indies four-day championship bowls off on Wednesday with four matches across two countries. In Jamaica, the home team, Scorpions, will open against the Windward Islands Volcanoes at Sabina Park, while combined campuses and colleges face Barbados Pride at Chedwin Park, while in St. Kitts and Nevis, Leeward Islands Hurricanes battle the West Indies Academy at Warner Park, and the Guyana Harpy Eagles face Trinidad and Tobago Red Force at Connery and you can watch the Sports Mag Zone for daily roundup on match days. And today we preview the tournament by looking at a number of the young players who are hoping to cement themselves, not just at the regional level, but hopefully also at the West Indies level. We start today by chatting with two Jamaica Scorpions players, Kurt McKenzie, back from West Indies Test Duties in Australia, and all-rounder Abhijay Man Singh, who played his first season of regional four-day cricket last year and broke into the West Indies A-team as well. Gentlemen, it is a pleasure to have you on the Sports Mag Zone. First of all, how are you doing? We're doing well, thanks. Thanks for having us. Yeah, doing good. Doing good. Kirk, let's start with you because you're just coming off Australia, your first tour down under. First of all, I want you to give us an idea of what that was like and if overall it was everything you expected it to be. Yes, it was everything I expected it to be. Uh, it was challenging, new conditions, but I enjoyed every bit of it. Mm, what about it did you enjoy? I'm just the challenges. I like challenges. Um, playing against the number one team in the world. Um, I have to live up to those expectations. I enjoyed everything. Yeah, I want to start from the warm-up games, right? Because you didn't have a great warm-up game, but the moment you stepped into the test arena, you seemed a different player. What changed between the warm-up match and the test matches? Um, nothing really changed. I was just my process. Yeah. Um, I had confidence in my preparations going to the game. I just backed myself. Yeah. Um, and talk to me about backing yourself. When you look back at the entire experience, how do you grade your own performance in Australia? Um, to be honest, I think I kind of underachieved. Um, I got starts in all innings and I didn't really carry on. That's something for me to work on. What did you put that down to? Probably just concentration in crucial moments. Yeah. How do you fix that? Uh, it was a mental thing. Uh, I only can fix it myself. No coach can really help me with that. It's just for me to look back and see. And in positions of the game, I really made a mistake and tried to see how I can better that. Yeah. One of the things with sports quickly that so you speak about focus and concentration. Um, when you play at lower levels, sometimes you have that same level of concentration, which is not necessarily at the highest level. Sometimes you can have those dips, mm -hmm. but you will get away with it at a different level. Mm -hmm. When you get to a higher level now, against the very best in the world, they only need a, a, a small moment um, do you think it will help, or how much do you think it will help, know that you've had the opportunity to play one of the very best teams in the world that I think tested you in a way that it may, the test may be equal, mm -hmm. but probably not greater in, in this form of the game? Uh, one thing our captain spoke about, just we were coming back home, let's keep the same intensity that we would have at the test arena. And then it won't be much of a big change, no matter who you're playing. Yeah. Um, Abhijay, last year, first time in the Jamaica Scorpion setup, and you're back for a second season. Talk to me about how much you are looking forward to this four day campaign. I'm definitely looking forward to it greatly because it's another season to try and get to the next level. Um, I think that's the, the aim, as well as you know, pushing Jamaica's cricket forward. It was a tough year for Jamaica cricket last year, and it's good that we have an opportunity to play at home now and hopefully do well for the country. Yeah, you say a tough year, no wins for the Scorpions last year. Um, this squad looks like a much improved one though. It definitely is. We've prepared well. Um, we have a lot of younger players in the squad. The energy is high. We've been, we've been gelling really well and we're glad to have Kurt back. So we're looking forward to starting well tomorrow. Yeah. And talk to me about how you see your role in this Scorpion setup, or um, how do you fit in um, from your viewpoint? I think from the batting viewpoint, I, I'll probably be the person to stabilize the innings. Um, I look to bat as long as possible, hopefully get some centuries this year. And then from the bowling perspective, I look to be more one of the attacking bowlers and try to pick up as many wickets as possible. I think that's the job of any risk spinner, so I'm looking forward to 
car carrying out that role. Yeah. I would I would think a massive achievement for you breaking into the West Indies A team setup um, at the back end of last year. How much do you think that experience has prepared you for this upcoming four day season? That experience went a long way in preparing me, not only for this um, season, but in terms of my outlook on the game and what's needed to, to succeed at the next level. So I think that, that tour of South Africa did not only good for, for me, but a lot of young players on that tour. So that was definitely a tour that I enjoyed and learned a lot from. Aren't there specific things that you have been working on coming into this campaign? Definitely. I think with the ball, I've, I've worked a bit on my consistency and, and my X factor. I think as a wrist spinner, you need to have that X factor. And especially to do well at the international level, you have to have that X factor. So I've been working hard on, on what my X factor is. C can you tell us what the X factor is? Is it the googly? Is it something it's, else? It's googly and a bit more spin, but um, hopefully hopefully um, they, they will all come together. The googly, the leg spin and, and the other variations to, to provide me with that X factor. Yeah. Yeah, um, you start against the Windward Islands Volcanoes at Sabina Park. Um, how much do you know about them, um, and how much are you looking forward to the start of this? Well, we we know the um, Windward team very well. I think there's a lot of experienced players on that team that we've played against for years. Um, luckily, we're, we're playing at home now at Sabina Ground. We know very well. It's it's going to be a lot of our our first time playing for our country at on home soil. So we're, we're just looking forward to doing that. We've dreamt of that day as kids growing up to play for Jamaica at Sabina. So for the, to have that opportunity to do it is, is going to be a special feeling. Yeah, how about you, Kirk? Yeah, that's been a dream for me yeah. from growing up. Um, so just excited to tomorrow. You, you went to school not far away from there, though. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you, I'm a gate separated us. <laughs> you, you probably were at Savannah Park every day. Yeah, I was. I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not surprising. So I saw on social media, um, following the test tour of Australia, where you averaged in the 30s there, the best West Indies batsman, the second highest run scorer in the two test series overall. And there were individuals saying, well, where is Kurt McKenzie in the one-day team? Do you want to play one-day international cricket? Yes, of course. Of course, I like to play. Yeah, mm. but I didn't really make any runs in the last 250, yeah. so I'm not really disappointed I wasn't selected. I just want me to go back and try to make runs next one. Yeah, where do you think you are um, on the developmental journey? Um, because I suspect it's all a process. You're mm. in the test team now. Um, clearly, based on how you bat, you have the potential to play one day international cricket as well. From what I saw of you as an under-19 player, you probably have the potential to play T20 cricket as well. Where do you think you are on that developmental journey in being an all-format player? Um, to be honest, I don't think it's a rush. I'm still just 22 years old. Um, I think as a batsman, learning test cricket and kind of mastering test cricket is going to help me in all formats of the game. So just for me to take my time, master that level, and then see where I can apply it to that level as well. Yeah. And how comfortable are you in that number three position? Um, I'm still learning it, kind of new to it, but I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. W what do you enjoy about it? Uh, I get a little break after feeling. <laughs> that's, that's a plus. I get a break. As opposed to opening. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to opening. What targets have you set for this um, four-day campaign? Um, some hundreds. I need some hundreds. I haven't really scored much runs playing for Jamaica, so I think that's something I need to do. Mm -hmm. um, just to help the team in games, really. Yeah. And in terms of where we can expect you to bat in this Jamaica team? I think the same, number three position. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're cementing that for yourself now? Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> um, talk, talk, talk to me a little bit about Kurt McKenzie mm -hmm. um, and your cricketing development coming through the system. I remember as a, a young man reading sports news um, on RJR, mm -hmm. Um, when there was school cricket, I would literally read your name every game. <laughs> um, and, and you just seemed like such a superstar. It seemed as if you made runs every single match in high school cricket. Yeah, in high school, um, some people could say I was a man. But what would I'd, you say? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I don't think so. I just, I could say my skills was just ahead at that point in time. So I was really outscoring people my age. Yeah. yeah. And then you transitioned into the West Indies under 19 setup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I had a couple of good under 19 tours. Didn't really do much to my standard. Yeah. So I would say I was lucky to be in the West Indies under 19 team. 
um, went to South Africa and didn't really have the best, but I had one big score, which was good. Listening to you speak, right, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I get the feeling that you think your talent um, or your performances have not matched the level of talent you have to this point. Yeah, I don't think my performance is as much as yet. I'm still working at it, but hopefully that will improve. Yeah, can Jamaica win the four day this year, guys? 100%. For sure, for sure. We expect nothing less. Yeah. yeah. Jermaine Blackwood is the leader of this Scorpions team. What's he like as a, as a leader, um, as someone who has been through the system, been there, done that? Um, he preaches about positivity in both batting and bowling. Um, he just wants us to really go out and play our game. He gives us our license to just go out and play our game and have fun. And what's the camaraderie like in, in the setup? Um, I know it hasn't always been hunky dory in the, in the Jamaica setup. What, what's this unit like? I think we're getting along really well from the, the head coach right down to the youngest player. It's been a good feeling in this setup and I don't think the Jamaica setup has felt this close in years, so we have a good feeling about this season. Yeah, yeah, it sounds really good. Well, gents, I wish you all the best um, for the tournament and I really do hope that you achieve all your goals. Abijay, great opening season last year, even though it was a difficult one for Jamaica. No, Kirk, you joined the party, so we look forward to seeing what you will both do and the Scorpions will do in this tournament. So all the very best. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Evans. All right, Kirk McKenzie, Abijay Man Singh, members of the Jamaica Scorpions side, getting ready for regional four-day cricket, which bowls off on Wednesday. Two matches in Jamaica. The uh, Scorpions will play at the Volcanoes at Sabina Park. CCC will be in action at Chedwin Park against Barbados Pride. And then there are two matches in St. Kitts and Nevis as well. So, yeah, look forward to that. Let's take a break. When we return, though, we will be continuing our chat on regional four-day cricket. Lance and Mariah, well, let's just say Lance will have two of his countrymen. We'll be back.